we're here at a beautiful park. Where's the sign? That's, oh, right here, Curry Park. Okay. <laughs> the signs of it. We had a beautiful park, Curry Park. And, uh, you know, uh, I remember I was mayor of this city for eight years. And one thing you do as mayor is you, 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 you know, you do a lot of research and talking to try to figure out what is it that makes your city attractive? What is it that keeps people, not only brings people, but keeps people in a community? You know, if you went and asked the, the man or the woman on the street, they would probably say, it's jobs, it's jobs, it's health care. But guess what? Those are not, or they might say education. But that's not your top three factors. Uh, because the fact of the matter is that jobs follow people. And what do people want? People want uh, great amenities, the ability to connect with the others with other people and a beautiful environment that's what people want that's what the research shows and that's one of the reasons why our parks are so important and look at this park behind me because it is uh, a beautiful place and you're going to hear uh, our mayor and and his colleagues uh, tell you what's going to happen in this park but it's going to be a place uh, obviously, it's a beautifully, a beautiful natural environment that's going to be enhanced, and it's going to be a place where people connect, people of all uh, ethnic backgrounds and ages, where they bump el uh, elbows, and uh, you know, as we get through COVID, they may have to do it with a mask for now, but it's a place, it's, it's an opportunity to feel like you're part of a place, that you all belong together. And boy, do we need that as we come out of the pandemic. Uh, we've been so socially isolated for, for now almost two years. Uh, so I am so excited because today I'm going to bring you uh, a check. Uh, we, the uh, federal government, we have a program. It's called, uh, it's the Land and Water Conservation Fund where we uh, give matching funds uh, to communities. And uh, so today we're going to give a check to the city of West Palm Beach for $1 million for Curry Park. And there's going to be another uh, check that's going to go. That's okay, Mayor. Just leave that. Uh, there's, a, there's another check that's going to go to the county for $300,000 uh, for John Prince Park. And with that, I'm going to say to our mayor, good to be with you. And let us know what's going to happen, be happening here. All right, I'm going to step on away as my papers float away. Th these papers are not bothering you, are they? Okay. There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much, Congresswoman Franco. Uh, as always, it's great to see you. Uh, every time I'm with the Congresswoman, I remind her that uh, she got me into this uh, I, I, I didn't say that. And to public life, yes, yes. And, and I will forever be grateful sometimes. Okay. Anyway, so it's a great honor and privilege to be here today uh, to join you in announcing the $1 million in federal funds for West Palm Beach's Curry Park. This is so, so exciting. So on behalf of the city, we thank you for these funds and for, most importantly for advocating uh, on behalf of West Palm Beach. You indeed are the city's greatest champion in Washington. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, Lois, Congresswoman, I want to thank you for all you do for this great city. So these $1 million in funds will go a long way toward enhancing this beautiful park. Uh, Cory Park uh, is 13.6 acres in size with sweeping gorgeous waterfront vistas with deep water ocean access. It is truly a local gem and one of our city's greatest assets. Uh, Curry Park is a destination for families, boulders, and athletes. It's a place to pay tribute at the Martin Luther King Jr. Landmark Memorial, which is right behind us, or simply to connect with your neighbors and fellow residents in the shared spirit of community. Curry Park is also one of the jewels of the city's north end. We're adding to its sparkle and that of the area neighborhoods by investing in this park through the Curry Park Redevelopment Project. The war award announced today by Congresswoman Frankel will be used to support that project. Uh, already, the city intends to use approximately $8 million of the $30 million parks and bond referendum, which was approved by the voters recently, 
as well as more than $16 million from the Department of Economic Opportunities Rebuild Florida Mitigation General Infrastructure Program to make enhancements here at the park. Uh, this week, uh, I had the pleasure of speaking with Congresswoman Franco, who personally shared with me that West Palm Beach is a recipient of this significant uh, Land and Water Conservation Fund grant. These funds will greatly complement our work here and help make Curry Park dreams a reality. So let me tell you a little bit about what's going to go on. Uh, I'm pleased to share that the grant will be used here at the park to install a new playground, landscaping and lighting, as well as a kayak and, kayak and canoe launch point, and it will create a performance and event lawn and renovate a fishing pier. Also, these funds will help us to update the parking area, waterfront areas, and walking trails. Uh, meanwhile, meantime, as we continue work on the park's future, we will have Sundays on the waterfront here in January and February. And I hope that you, Congresswoman, uh, can, can join us here. And as open to the whole county. Excuse me? Open to the whole county. Absolutely, open to the entire county. Uh, and any resident, anyone here in the county can come join us on Sundays on the waterfront. So in closing, I want to put this contribution in context. Uh, and the uh, Congresswoman alluded to this. Our parks, our parks reflect our quality of life. Our parks reflect our community. Our parks add to the city's social, economic, and environmental vibrancy. So as we invest these funds directly in this community, not only will the surrounding neighborhoods benefit, but also our entire city and our entire county. Thank you again, Congresswoman Franco. Please share my appreciation and gratitude with your partners in Washington. Now, I want to recognize uh, our Parks and Recreation Director, Leah Rockwell, and Community Redevelopment Agency Director, Chris Rug for their work on the parks redevelopment. And I think Leah and uh, Chris will have some remarks. We'll start with Leah. Leah? Good afternoon. Um, Thank you, Congresswoman Frankel. Uh, we couldn't be happier to be here today. So Mayor James's vision is to create a community of opportunity for all. Wow, what a place to do it. Great parks are great equalizers. They provide a space and a place for the community to come together and create a community of unity. As Curry Park is a community park, it is it is going to be designed to serve and create opportunities for everyone, not just our residents, but people within the county and within Florida itself, and our tourists. Curry Park provides a phenomenal canvas. Look behind us, it's beautiful. It's a canvas to create a space, a place for active, self-directed and passive recreation, arts, culture, environmental education, and stewardship. Parks impact the health and wellness of our neighborhoods and our city. The Land and Water Conservation Fund has been a great partner for parks and recreation throughout the country, in the state of Florida, and here in West Palm Beach. So the grant funds, with our matching funds from the parks bond referendum, which we would not have been able to have without the 84% of our voters who voted yes for our parks bond to match this million dollar uh, grant award. We couldn't have done it without our residents. With the passing of the bond, providing the matches, we were able to apply for the grant and this made it possible. We are grateful and we're really excited to be receiving this award to make this park a beautiful a more be I don't know how you make it more beautiful, but a more active space for our residents and um, our county residents and our tourists that come and visit. So, Congresswoman Frankel, thank you so much. Okay, well, we thank you. Chris? Chris? Well, Chris, will you let us know the, like, sort of the timetable? Sure, absolutely. Yeah. So um, thank you all for coming out. Congresswoman Frankel, thank you so much for this opportunity. And Mayor, thank you for your leadership on this project. Um, I know that you will uh, make sure that this park is delivered on time and on budget, um, uh, as you always do. So um, as the executing agency for the project, um, we do have a very aggressive timeline to make sure that this project is delivered to the community as promised. Um, right now, we are uh, in phase two of the project where we are implementing the design, permitting, and construction documents needed to actually see this project come to fruition. 
And uh, according to the bond, we need to have this park delivered by 2023. And I know the mayor um, has made that commitment to deliver it on or before that date, which we will do. So these funds will go towards a, a really critical part to adding those amenities and uh, including that title amphitheater and all of the other things um, that will make this park um, really a world-class amenity for the city of West Palm Beach and really plays even a bigger uh, uh, part in the overall strategy of redevelopment for the north end of our city. Uh, we're very excited about this and we'll continue to meet that aggressive timeline um, and we expect to break ground um, shortly next year um, and uh, just to see the overall uh, park just spring to life with another page in this beautiful waterfront's history and look forward to introducing it to the entire community. So Congresswoman, Mayor, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, well, thank you guys. Look, this is what, you know, the benefit of living in Florida, with the beautiful weather all year round. And now uh, I'm so pleased that Congress, uh, both here at, at uh, Curry Park and John Prince Park, that we're adding some funding. So, uh, as I said, the community of all, all races and ages, ethnicities can come together, bump elbow, elbows and enjoy our beautiful natural environment, some social occasions, some music, some picnics, just have a good time. And uh, we'll just take any questions anybody might have. Good? All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.